Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is duplicate address detection, or DAD. On an IPv6 network, all devices are required to have a link local unicast address, which is always with a prefix FE80 colon colon. A device can generate the other half 64 bit apart by using EUI64 method or by random value. But before the device uses the self generated link local address, it needs to take a procedure to check if anyone else already uses this address. The procedure is called Duplicate Address Detection, or DAD. By definition, DAD is a device's ability to determine whether an address, link local or global, is already in use by another device, regardless of whether it was assigned using Slack, DHCPv6, or manual configuration. DAD involves using neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement messages. Let's look at an example. Suppose computer C wants to join a local network. One tentative link local unicast is generated based on computer C's MAC address. This method we use is called EUI64. This is step 1. Step 2. Computer C sends a neighbor solicitation message to check if anyone else uses this address already. Let's check out what information is inside this neighbor solicitation packet. To keep it simple, we only talk about some important information. First, let's look at the destination MAC address inside Ethernet header. 33-33 is prefixed for solicited node multicast. Last 48 bits are mapped from the IPv6 destination solicited node multicast address FF02 colon colon 1 colon FFCC colon CCCC. This packet is only listened for by any other device with a MAC address sharing the same last 24 bits CCCCCC. Now let's look at the IPv6 header. The source address is colon colon, which is unspecified IPv6 address. When DAD is in progress, the source address is always unspecified like a placeholder. Destination IPv6 address. This is the solicited node multicast address for computer C's link local address FF02 colon colon 1 colon FFCC colon CCCC. This address gets mapped to the Ethernet MAC address. Basically, any other device sharing the last 24 bits with the computer C would get this message. Hop limit is set to 255 by default. Now let's look at the target address inside ICMPv6 header. This is computer C's local link address, which is needs to be checked. Then the computer C waits for a, a period of time, like one second, to let other devices respond. If duplication occurs, computer C would determine the link local address derived from its MAC address cannot be used, and it would use random values to generate a new one, and it checks again. Normally, the chance of a duplicate address is very low unless there's MAC spoofing attacks on the network. If the computer C does not hear any response after one second, 
it can determine that its link local address is unique. The tentative address would become an assigned address. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.